Today, a new VP announced and UNF named one of the best colleges. Stay tuned because Spinnaker News starts right now. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Emmett Clark, and you're watching Spinnaker News. Before we dive into today, today's stories, we have breaking news on head coach Matthew Driscoll. For more on that, here's Diana Shanks. Good morning, Ospreys. This is Diana Shanks with your Spinnaker Sports Report. Some exciting news for our basketball team, head coach Matt Driscoll was rewarded a handsome contract extension. His current package with three remaining years at $193,000 has been replaced with a six-year contract at $225,000. UNF Athletic Director Lee Moon told the Florida Times Union that Driscoll has been a, quote, great ambassador for the university in every phase, end quote. The new contract follows the Ospreys' first winning season and victory at the A-Sun Tournament. Last spring, Driscoll turned down a major Division I coaching job to stay with UNF. That's all we have for sports today, so we'll turn it back over to Emmett at the desk. Thanks, Diana. In other news, Student Government Senate Committees approved a new Vice President on August 31st. Voting members of the Government Oversight Committee unanimously voted forward President appointee Jordan Wilson to Senate for approval in a 3-0-0 vote. The decision put President Haley Garris choice for her VP one step closer to taking the currently vacant office. The Senate will make the final vote to place Wilson in office on September 14th, when Senate reconvenes after the Labor Day holiday. The University of North Florida has been selected as one of the Princeton Review's 2016 best colleges for the southeastern region. This is the seventh consecutive year the UNF has been selected for the list, which is limited to 140 regional colleges and universities. UNF President John Delaney was delighted that the school had once again received the award and said, quote, this prestigious recognition affirms the tremendous ongoing effort that UNF has put forth to build one of the finest universities in the state, end quote. The Princeton Review gathers data in dozens of categories from average SAT scores and GPAs to calculate a selectivity score that measures how hard it is to get into UNF. It currently sits at 88. The UNF Police Department has incorporated the use of body cameras in their daily operations as part of a year-long pilot program which started in May. According to Action News Jax, UPD purchased six cameras at a cost of roughly $8,000. Chief Frank Mackesy said, quote, at any type of call, the officers are supposed to activate the camera. It lends itself to, as a manager, I can see if they're doing the things they should be doing, end quote. Mackesy also stated that the violent crime is rare on campus and most calls for help are minor. The use of the cameras will extend until May 2016 when the program will be reviewed for its effectiveness. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Spinnaker News, but for more on the stories reported today and other stories, you can check us out at unfspinnaker.com. You can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker, and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at unfspinnaker. For Diana Shanks, I'm Emmett Clark. Be sure to stay tuned for your three-day forecast, and have a great day, UNF.